Hey, what's up? And once again, welcome back to my channel, Eat and Travel Stories. And we are in Nangalil today and we have come to Mansuk. It's a veg restaurant, especially uh, uh, this episode is going to be very special for those who are vegetarian. So do stay with us and do watch the full video. And now let's go inside and see you. We are sitting inside Mansuk and this episode is going to be specially for the vegetarians, uh, specially for snacks and sweets. And this shop uh, specialized in Rajasthani uh, dishes or Rajasthani cuisine, you can say, like chaats, belpuri, uh, etc. And I have ordered first, I have started with this samosa belpuri, which is 60 bucks. Yes. Okay. You most taste of, it first. Most of the time when you go for any kind of chat shops... Uh, you won't find that of that good ambience and the shop will be like very small. Most of the time you will be standing and having your snacks. But the ambience over here is really good. You can come along with your family, friends and uh, actually enjoy the food. So let's see how the samosa bales taste. Hmm. The stuffing inside the samosa is really good. Once you have the bite, you get a lot of flavors and none of the flavors are overpowering. That's a major part. We added a uh, piece and a lot of stuffs. Each and every ingredient is really fresh. It complements the dish and nothing is overpowering. That's a major good thing. Yeah, the samosa is very fresh and um, this this is called shev bhaji, like the, what they have uh, garnished or the toppings is and even they, um, they are also, I mean they also used uh, murmura or this puff rice inside which makes very uh, chewy and crunchy. It's very very good, fresh. Well, our next item is masala uh, pao, right? And this is 125 bucks. Okay. Well, go, let's go for it. <laughs> okay. Steaming hot. Go on your tongue. This is made up of a bread, hmm. and uh, the bread is mixed into the gravy. The bread is fluffy. Okay. And uh, you will get a little bit flavor of this pav bhaji masala. Mm -hmm. These things are quite heavy. With the second dish, we are feeling almost full. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's hot. hot. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Smoke bombs. <laughs> flavor bombs. Flavor bombs. And the ingredients what they have used uh, like onion, garlic and a sharp chili flavor as well. Even they have used some spring onions. And uh, the breads are like flavor bomb or what you can say, um, yeah, flavor bomb. <laughs> yeah, just. Yeah. Not too hard. They actually uh, make their yeah. own breads. That's, the That's what the flavor is complementing throughout the dish. And um, this bread have soaked a complete flavor of the and a little uh, you will feel the taste of the well. yeah it's just the sweet dish okay Okay. 
say we are done with the snacks part we are moving towards uh, desserts the one which i actually loved when i tried it before uh, is rasmalai uh, let's see how uh, this one turns out mm it's melting in my mouth that's good that good you will feel the first bite and after that it bites in it actually melts in your mouth it's that good so the previous chat item whatever we had um, uh, it was good and also uh, the portion was healthy enough we should have ordered one dish and shared it since we ordered two uh, we had a lot of portions to cover and we actually ate all of it yummy but portion is higher on the higher side i think we are coming back to this shop once more because there are a lot to explore we just ordered only two dishes and we are flat <laughs> they do have a lengthy menu they have paratha stuffed paratha and all those kind of dishes we are already stuffed <laughs> even chat item they have a lengthy list maybe we can do the video in a uh, part 2 where we can cover few more dishes in yes. the same shop we hardly did uh, part 2 videos in most of the things right Oh, oh, I didn't find anything interesting to do a part two, but this the restaurant definitely we are going to come back one more time, one or twice, thrice. I don't know unless we finish this entire book. <laughs> part two, we will turn out uh, to the shop once again. Uh, be ready for the part two video. This is Malai lassi. You can see the thickness; it's really thick. Okay, and, uh, let's have it. Yeah, it's very sweet. It's too good. <laughs> we are done now. Done for the day with two dishes. We are completely flat, and we had rasmalai, and rasmalai was also very good. And this lassi is too good. Well, lassi glass is empty. It's over now. It's too good. and we have come to the final part billing part it's very pocket friendly we ordered um, samosa uh, then masala pav malai lassi basundi and rasmalai it's just 380 bucks okay so it's very pocket friendly i think it's uh, everyone should come and try this restaurant especially the vegetarian people they should come and try this anyway we are also coming back again <laughs> definitely to explore over here yes till this book uh, completes <laughs> we will get few more parts uh, later definitely the down the line for one this one restaurant one of the best snacks of the family uh, and even the ambience is also very good ambience is really good since yes. we uh, and the hygienic part it's neat and clean very rare to find a place where by you can come along with your family sit relax and then Enjoy the ambience and the proper food. Exactly. That's very rare when it comes to chat kind of things. Exactly. This is in Nanga Nalur. So, if you like this video, do subscribe our channel, Eat and Travel Stories. Do like, share, and comment. And see you once again in another episode of uh, my weekend diaries. Until then, take care. Bye. Bye, everyone. Be ready for part two. <laughs>